right. So what's your favorite science fiction film? Whatever your answer is, it probably features some weapons and devices that are not from our world. Yeah, and <laughs> someone has to make those interesting movie props, right? As Fox 13 photojournalist Barry Wong shows us, it's a job that takes full advantage of your imagination, and it's all made in Tampa Bay. My name's Jason Raleigh. My business is called Fireblade Comics, and I do everything from making cosplay props to props for TV and movies. I call it improv building. I go to my workshop. I have in my head the concept. I spread parts out on my work table. I went to the thrift store and I found a large RC controller. I got a conduit body box from Home Depot, an in-ground sprinkler, and then this is actually a Spy Gear Happy Meal toy to use as a scope. I just, in my head, start rearranging them, flipping them upside down and fitting them together and trying to make something that's even common look different, you know, make it look like it's otherworldly. A lot of the things I make are prop weapons. A lot of people want blasters and guns and rocket launchers, but I have made numerous devices and things over the years. I'd say I probably have over 2,000 Nerf guns, because I use a lot of them as the basis to build from. I've used a lot of unique things in the past. This is a, I believe this is some kind of a pop-in floor drain. I wanted to make the front barrel of it large for the director's request, so I was in Goodwill and found one of these file organizers by Ikea, which happens to fit the front barrel just perfectly. This was a pump handle. This is the, the front piece of that, which I'll probably turn around and put right here as the front emitter. When I pass by a vacuum cleaner on the road, I'm looking at the body of it, how unique is the shape. I'm looking at the handle thinking, if I took that handle and I put it as the, the grip on a rifle or something, what would that look like? I've taken the bottom part of upright vacuum cleaners and you know, in my mind, I'll turn it around, turn it upside down. A lot of them have like fans that are in there for circulation. I have used uh, the parts out of a defibrillator computer disk drives, VCRs, printers. A lot of those things have unique parts in them that otherwise you'll never see, because how many people take apart a disk drive or a computer? This is all taken out of printers and VCRs and things that have gears in them that you would not otherwise realize have really cool looking uh, gears. I think the funnest part for me is finishing the project and turning it over to a client and having them be completely blown away by it. And how even when they know that it's made from completely unique found parts, it still, in their mind, looks like something brand new. Wow. I need Jason to clean out my garage. I think he could have a field day in there. <laughs> uh, to keep up with all the Made in Tampa Bay stories, past and present, remember to follow Made in Tampa Bay Fox 13 on Instagram.